Hey guys, welcome back to Brother in Christ Weston. Thanks for joining me today. So today's article comes out of Now the End Begins. Let's get into it. Okay, um, I've actually seen this article on natural news that I frequent, Now the End Begins, Infowars, End Times Headlines. I think Zero Hedge has it out as well. Um, multiple articles. So uh, I just chose this one because they have some pretty pictures. Uh, it says here, City of Kiev in Ukraine begins handing out potassium iodine pills as nuclear threat from Putin in Russia grows more desperate and quite real. And here is a picture of those potassium iodine pills. Um, I have literally that exact same package. I got mine in. Um, my son is, is asking for me. Of course, he's not taking his nap. Uh, it says here, city of Kiev has, has said it's handing out potassium iodine pills to uh, evacuation centers in preparation for a possible Russian nuclear strike on Ukraine capital. Russia has been doing poorly since starting since starting world slash conflict with Ukraine. So poorly, in fact, that one night, excuse me, one might be tempted to think that Putin is taking a dive in his own war. Why would he do that? One reason might be because he's really trying to bait the U.S., United States, and NATO into it. And I would agree. I've said this before that I don't know why Russia hasn't just overtaken Ukraine, but it almost seems like he's doing this on purpose to to empty out reserve resources of NATO. And he's playing chess, like 3D chess, 4D chess, 5D chess, but we're sitting here playing like like ping pong, you know, just like pong on, on an Atari. Um, it just seems so weird to, for you to be such a threat. And everybody's like scared of you, yet you can't take over Ukraine? It doesn't make any sense. There's something going on. And either either both parties know it, like the, the U.S. knows it and NATO knows it. Um, and they're all in it together, or Russia's really trying to, 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 to feed the carrot. And we can see that also because um, um, Zelensky or Ukraine had applied for NATO membership. And so I said in my last video, if that happens, was it my last video or was it two videos ago? Uh, it was one of them. But one of the videos that I did just, just recently um, showed that, uh, uh, what is it, two videos ago, that if, um, if Ukraine were to be accepted into NATO, that there would there would be nuclear war. That's a guarantee. Um, and it, it's almost like that's being baited. It's almost like it, it's like this thing needs to happen. They want it to happen because New World Order, Antichrist, collapsing, rising something up out of that on purpose to bring the world under submission. This great, great collapse, the world coming together to, for a peaceful, peaceful resolve, all this other stuff, right? I've talked about that, thinking that an antichrist would come out of out of the ashes would rise, this antichrist that's ready to go um, and save everybody, right? And everything would change because of it, because it would be a World War III. So let's continue. The U.S. has set has a foot and a half in an already a foot and a half already right. Uh, shouldn't take too much to seal the deal. Another reason might be because he's just looking for an excuse to launch nuclear weapons. Sounds crazy, you say? Yep, so crazy that the Ukraine city of Kiev is at this moment handing out potassium iodine pills. I died or iodide, even though it's iodine or iodide, it's the same, pills to its citizens and they are anticipating will soon be living in bomb shelters. Uh, James 4, verses 1 and 2. From whence comes wars and fightings among you? Come they, not hence, even of your lusts that war in your members. That he's talking about the body. Ye lust have not yet, ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain. Ye fight and, and war yet have not, because ye ask not. Uh, I don't know if that scripture would actually apply here in this moment, because this is talking about Unless you're just talking about self-control and the warring within your your members, your body, and that you're 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 giving yourself over to your emotions, and then your emotions are the ones that are triggering you, right, uh, and allowing you to operate and make rash calls and harsh calls and really bad decisions, um, immoral decisions that you can't take back, right? I would I could see that there, um, uh, things that are driven by demons, by by the flesh, by a wicked heart. Um, maybe this whole thing will fizzle out as as we discover that Putin has dementia. Or is end, end stage syphilis, which is rotting his brain. Hmm, I haven't heard that. Rendering him unable to, to anything, rendering him unable to anything that is not off the wall insane. Or we might just find out that Putin is crazy like a fox and this whole thing was conceived to create a much larger military situation. Time will tell. Meanwhile, they are stocking up on potassium iodine in Ukraine just in case. Good idea. And I would say for us, good idea. Uh, Kiev gives out uh, iodine pills to evacuation centers, right? Uh, from the Daily Mail UK, potassium iodine pills can help block the absorption of harmful radiation into the thyroid gland. Yes, that's right. 
If taken just before or immediately after exposure to nuclear radiation, these pills will be distributed to residents in the area contaminated by nuclear radiation. If there is a need to evacuate, the city council said in a statement. Amid Russian President Vladimir Putin's disastrous and ongoing invasion of Ukraine, Putin has said that he would use all the means of it at our disposal to win the war while his ground forces humiliatingly retreat from a Ukrainian counterattack. Russian troops have suffered heavy losses and are being pushed back into several regions. And you, I hear that and I see that and I'm just like, is, is, that was, is that what is happening? Like, because that's not what people are saying. Um, but it feels like, I don't know, like, you, what, do you, what can you trust anymore about what people are saying about Russia or Ukraine or any of these things? Uh, because media seems to be so biased and tampered with that. Um, sorry, I'm looking back and forth at my son, making sure he's good. Um, what is it uh, of, of what's being said and what you're reading? So um, it says here, fears are growing uh, that Putin will resort to using a devastating nuclear strike to beat Ukraine into submission as his ground troops continue to suffer defeats. Um, news of Kiev's preparations came after time. Newspaper reported Monday that NATO had warned members Warned members Putin was set to demonstrate his willingness to nuclear weapons by carrying out a nuclear test on Ukrainian border. Uh, the NATO warning claimed that K-329 Belgorod submarine, which had only entered active service with Russia's Navy in July, 2020, uh, July 2022, may be headed to the Kara Sea to test the feared Poseidon underwater nuclear drone. Poseidon is said to be capable of traveling huge distances underwater before detonating with enough force to trigger a six, this is crazy, 1,600 foot, 1,600 foot nuclear tsunami. What? Like, I've seen those movies. What is it? Um, uh, uh, I forgot what which one was. It was just mat. Like it's always like massive tsunamis, right? That that take over water, covers the whole world, water world, or um, uh, the end of tomorrow, or something like that. Or um, these end of the world movies, and it's always dealing with tsunamis that are like mega, mega, like huge, like like un ungodly, terrifying, huge tsunamis, and then it's like all the land is submerged and there's just water and it just stays like that. And so it's like, yeah, well, <laughs> um, it's absolutely terrifying. Um, with enough force to trigger a 1600 foot nuclear tsunami designed to drown and errad irradiate coastal cities. Um, uh, I should say eradicate, I think. Uh, Karsi is located off the eastern coast of Navaya, Navaya, Nav Navaya, uh, Zim Zim Zimlea. Zimlia, a large Russian-controlled island in the Arctic Circle, which has long been used for nuclear weapons and a testing facility. It was the site of the largest nuclear uh, explosion was ever recorded in 1961. The USR detonated the SAR Bomba, right, a nuclear device 10 times more powerful than all of the ordnance exploded in World War II, which was downgraded because of its original design was thought to be too dangerous to test. If you ever look at um, uh, nuclear simulators and they'll give you the names of the nuclear bombs just go look it up go look at the sar bomba and then look drop it somewhere when you drop it it'll show you the range like the kill range where where like you have the fallout how far it's gonna go it's terrifying like it's terrifying they have small nuclear nukes and they have all the everything up to the sar bomba it's it's unreal um i saved a website for that because i had a friend show me and i was like man this is this is crazy what if this happened you know in my neighbor how far would i need to be what would what would that be like um it's actually really good information putin on september 21st ordered russia's first mobilization of military reservists since world war ii to put more troops on the battlefield and backed a plan to annex swaths of ukraine Warning the West, he was not bluffing when he said he'd be ready to use nuclear weapons to defend Russia. Russia is the world's biggest nuclear power based on the number of nuclear warheads. It has 5,977 warheads, while the United States has 5,428. So it's really, you know, they have about 500 more, but really it's all about like where, where the nuke hits. Because if the nuke hits at a place where the other nukes are, um, what is it? Uh, uh, then you're going to destroy a whole bunch of nukes on site where they're at. Now, there's probably going to be explosions from that and multiple nuclear blasts. But um, depending on if you can stop those stop those from traveling so far or whatever, you can take out or you just take out people, take out main centers that release nuclear warheads, right? So they stop nukes from actually leaving their areas, traveling uh, ICB, ICBMs, intercontinental missiles, right? Or going underwater or whatever. Um, according to the Federation of American Scientists. Yeah, man, this is crazy. And um, every every article that I've seen as of lately has been... Um, uh, war drums, North Korea fires ballistic missile over Japan. Uh, Russian nuclear military train is seen above 
on, on, the, on the move, possible warning to the West that, that Putin is prepared to escalate his war with Ukraine. Uh, U.S. deploys world's most expensive military ship in the Atlantic Sea. Um, one of the things is uh, clouds of war, right? This, these are just sites that, are, you know, sites that I frequent talking about. Like, there are, like, war drums after war drums. And Scripture tells us this, Matthew 24, Mark 13, uh, Luke 21. There will be wars and rumors of wars. See that you're not troubled. All these things must come to pass kind of thing, right? Um, and my my thought process is, as I've been saying, and it feels like we, we kind of get desensitized to it because it's not affecting us. Um, and maybe we don't have a right mind of what a war looks like because it feels like, well, wars don't seem like they're killing everybody. They're just taking out certain places and allowing people to leave at certain areas. And I think that's just the downfall of the American mindset because we are so free and we are we are in a, a bubble, right? Uh, who can mess with America? Um, but you've got 500 more nukes than we do. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, are yours more deadly? Are ours more deadly? You know, what, what comes down to that? Regardless, it's... It's one of those things where we need to sit there and recognize that this is very real and people are demon possessed. Uh, there are people who are are blood, uh, out for blood, like like who cares about how many lives I take? Um, this is our land, our country kind of thing. Uh, we're going to do it when, when means necessary and by any means necessary. Innocent lives lost, who cares? Um, and this is where we are leading to this this building, this build up that can, is continuing to just, just ready for it to go and just burst uh, what we've all been sitting here, honestly, just waiting for. Um, it's kind of nerve wracking because it makes you feel like maybe it's going to happen. Maybe it's not going to happen. You know, like not, not that we shouldn't go on with our lives, but at the same time, like, you know, I'm paying attention, looking for the Lord, looking for his word, looking for the truth and all this, looking for what he's doing. Um, scripture to come to pass. And it just feels like it feels like something is holding it back. And all I can think is, is that it's by God's grace. That these things have not just happened yet. And something is holding it back. I believe it's the rapture of the church. I believe it's the Holy Spirit. I believe um, uh, that when the Lord takes us out, or there, even if even if it all happens, right? It all happens and things happen. Um, that it's not it's not going to be anything next to what the the great tribulation is going to be. So even if this were to happen, um, and all these nukes start flying, I don't even think it's compared to the great tribulation. So when I mean by the Lord holding it back, like holding back what's to come in the Great Tribulation, whether that's World War III in the Great Tribulation, whether that's um, the World War III will start will start and then lead and then will actually not kick off the Great Tribulation, but will lead us into that by all these things manifesting. Um, and then that's what happens. There's, that's just where I'm at. Um, and what is it? I, you know, everyone has a different es eschatological view and that's totally fine. You're welcome here to share that. I'm not against you. I'm for you. We're brothers in Christ um, and uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. And so... Anyways, guys, that's the video. Let me know what you all think. Educate me in the comments about what you've heard, what you're seeing, um, uh, what makes sense. Have I noticed this? You know, hey, you feel free to fill up the comment section with things that you think are going to happen or how you see some things playing out. Um, I don't have all the perspective. I'm just a pinky toe of Christ. That's what I call myself. I am, I am, you know, pinky pinkies. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm there. You can't see me, but I'm there, and I'm doing everything that I can in my head to think of. Um, how does it, how does this play out? How do I find the Lord in all this? Um, and how to pray, how to prepare, what to prepare for, and uh, where to set my heart at with with the what the, what the Lord's doing in all of this towards, you know, getting my home prepared, preparing for other people to come here, uh, sending out funds to help, uh, whatever it may be. So, anyways, guys, that's the video. I'll see you in the next one.